hey welcome back to the channel in uh this series i would say we'll be looking at creating a website well a single page uh view application uh now what is view view is a single page uh application framework a uh, javascript progressive framework uh so this is built uh based on javascript and this is a framework that, that is uh, used to create like front-end applications. So it makes uh, creating a website pretty easy. Well, the front-end actually of the website. And uh, uh, this is something that I started out with. So I thought that I'll just get back into it maybe a little bit and just refresh myself with it. Uh, I would have spoken probably or noted in, in previous videos that I'm not really a big fan of uh, framework, but in its entirety, that is not really all that true. Uh, the thing is that I, I, I think it is very important that persons actually learn the vanilla code, like the vanilla PHP uh, before going to, into Laravel or vanilla uh, JavaScript before going to React View or Angular, because I think that that uh, gives you the essence of what coding actually is. And but that is just my opinion. You don't have to listen to me. That is just my opinion at least. But for this, uh, this is just a single page application. It has its its fault and stuff like that. So there is uh, another that is built upon View, which is called Nox.js, which is the one that I normally use. Uh, but that is for more bigger project and this project that we'll be creating will be fairly small. So that is why I, I thought that I'll just use uh, Vue.js. And you need to know Vue in order to, to be able to uh, use uh, Nox.js, which is actually built up on Vue. So basically we're, we're doing a vanilla view in, a, in, a, in, in, in some instance. Now, what are some of the things that we'll need uh, for this thing here. Well, first of all, to install Vue, we'll need a, a package manager. The one that we'll be using, or the one that I use, is Node. And uh, this is uh, the website that's nodejs.org. Uh, we can go down and go over to the downloads page. And when we go over to the downloads page, we'll see uh, the LTS and the uh, current version. I don't even remember what uh, LTS uh, means. Uh, uh, let's see if we can figure out that. What that is. If it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. But uh, I don't know. I'm not seeing where where it's giving like a definition or what this stands for. Uh, abbreviation. And it's not giving us a good abbreviation. Let's go on this and see what, what we get. But I really don't remember. I don't really, really know what, what this thing actually. I don't remember what it stands for. I think I remember at one point, but I don't remember what it stands for now. For this application, what I'll be using is again. I was saying that you can use a uh, node or you can use yarn. What I'll be using is node. You can download it for the platform that you are using. I'll be using Windows, so I'll be just. Uh, I already have this installed, and I have a video on on the installation of this thing. So you can go ahead and check it out. But it's very long, so you may want to skip through some parts of it. That's pretty much it. I think they say that Yarn actually pull, pulls the packages much quicker than, than Node. I actually have Yarn installed, but I can't use it because it has to be upgraded. I have this, but it has to be upgraded to, to uh, uh, 13. It's kind of weird that you have to have. When I was using it, it was asking me for Yarn to be upgraded. So I found that very weird. Not Yarn, for Node to be upgraded. I found that very weird. So I just, I'm just sticking with, with Node. What we'll be using for the installation is the view CLI. We're not going to use like uh, the standard view, which I would do like some small, small project, but we'll be using the view CLI. 
And what we'll need to do is use the Node Package Manager. We will just say npm install global uh, view the CLI and to create a project, we'll say view create and the project name, or you can use the view UI to create a project. I'm not really that big a fan of the view UI. I'll just use the command line. In for using the command line, what we're using is Git, and this is like our version controller and gives us connection to our GitHub and stuff like that. So all you have to do is come here, click on download and install. And that's pretty much it. Let's look at if we found what the meaning is. Uh, no, it's giving us some stupid meaning. So let's get rid of that. We'll find out in, in another video. For the IDE, uh, when I just started out um, doing Vue.js, what I was using was this IDE here, WebStorm. I think this is an incredible IDE, but because I'm working with because I've been working with PHP uh, for some time now, or as of late, uh, I was using PHP Storm. So the PHP Storm can actually create the project just the same, uh, use the view just the same. So this is what I'll be continuing using because I, I don't have, I don't think I have this installed currently. I have it downloaded, but I have not have it, uh, had it installed. Uh, this is what the PHP Storm looks like and all of them pretty much look the same. The web storm and PHP storm. If you can, if you want to create, you can click on create project. You can create a view project here. Uh, I will pick up the, the node manager. If you pick up the node interpreter, I should say, at uh, the location where you're storing this thing, and you can save uh, the name. So we can go ahead and change the name. The view CLI. You know that we're using that. And we can click on create and that's an easy way to do this but i won't be doing uh i uh, this way the reason why i won't be doing it that way is because of this we're going to use a css framework called bulma uh this is the framework that i'll be using i just found this framework just uh recently and i think it's very interesting it's similar to ui kit and uh, it's it's just more colorful as you can see from you hit the, the page here it's much much more color and i think when we use uh the command line here the view cli to to install this thing it will give us the option of actually installing bulma i'm not sure because it's been a while since i've used uh view on its own because i normally use nux but i know that when you're installing it with nux it will it will actually give you the option of installing uh, the, the Bulma uh, framework. And it's pretty much just the same as as uh, uh, UI kit, I should say, but it's just that it's it's more colorful in my opinion, and it's more, it's flexible, really, really flexible. Uh, we may, well, I'm going to create a repository. I'm not gonna create it now, but if you want, if uh, you're not so familiar with GitHub, then you can, uh, then you may see how to like create a GitHub uh, repository and stuff like that. If you have an account, I don't think I'll be going into how to create an account. You can go on YouTube or whatever to check that out. But I'll be creating a new repository for this application here. And then you'll see how that works out. So that's pretty much it for the introduction of of this uh video here. Our series you can go ahead and get all all that you'll need all these packages and then in the next video we'll look at uh building out our application. So thanks for watching and I'll see you then.